Welcome at uh, border sessions. Um, fast moving targets and the innovation stations are in The Hague in Amsterdam doing interviews with all the, um, the guests and the speakers, not all of course, but a lot of them uh, that are uh, here. Um, our guest now is Marco Vorderhemo. Did I say this? Uh, and uh, Marco is, is, uh, is a, uh, a deaf rapper, but we won't talk about that. Uh, you made an, um, uh, an app uh, to, um, well, translate um, from, from the deaf to the speaking. Um, what does the app do? Okay, uh, <laughs> now you understand why, do we, why we need this yeah, application yeah, yeah. in the beginning because you weren't able to understand a thing that I was telling you. Well, the application, uh, it is in your smartphone an interpreting application. You can use it wherever, whenever you like. It's cheap and it's fast. Uh, today, uh, okay, if you just happen to ask me uh, to give you an interview, like at the moment, yeah. right now, uh, I couldn't do it yeah. spontaneously. I would have to contact the state institution, place an order and wait for the interpreter to physically arrive here and it is low. Or, uh, okay, let's say that we are in the countryside and I would have to uh, order an interpreter. It might take a day. I yeah. would get an interpreter there the following day earliest or now I'm here in the Netherlands and you would like to interview me okay and I would like to use my mother tongue which is Finnish sign language I would have to have interpreter from Finland to fly over mm -hmm. here yeah. uh, like she is now here it is very expensive and slow as I told you earlier and the application would give you interpreter there in your smartphone whenever you like and the interpreter wouldn't have to physically travel there she would be in the phone, uh, yeah, interpreting yeah. our discussion. Yeah, that sounds brilliant. Um, um, uh, so, so uh, you've got the, the, the phone. You uh, you tell your story, and the phone recognizes um, uh, everything, and then uh, gives it words. So, what what does it, what how does it go? Uh, well, the way that it functions, we've got. Uh, two different ways to use it. Okay, let's say that we two would bump into each other and then I would open the application and the interpreter would uh, would be on the screen and I would have connection with the interpreter. She would wear a microphone, a headset ah, okay. uh, and the interpreter could be wherever she wants. She could be at her home, at office, in Thailand if she would love to, <laughs> uh, wherever she likes. Yeah. And she would be there with her yeah, device yeah. Ah, okay. and start interpreting uh, through internet and then uh, I can give you my contact info uh, or you would give me your phone yeah. number and I can just dial that number through my application which is called Shabla and Shabla will automatically look for interpreter and we could have the phone call through Shabla, so there will be three parties yeah. say, involved in the phone call. Um, because there are some deaf people who are illiterate and they don't know how to read, so it's very important for them for to them have too. access to servicing in their own mother tongue, which is sign language. Yeah. Uh, a bit similarly, uh, I think that I can quite certainly tell you that if we say that there is a refugee from Syria coming here and then there would be an interpreter in the Netherlands who knows how to speak Syria, Syrian language. But it is not enough. You also have to know the culture, the religion and the background of that, that society. Mm -hmm. So only translating a language is not enough. There is also cultural bound things that you have to be aware of when you're interpreting. Yeah. Uh, when are you going to, because uh, it's not released yet, right? No. Uh, yeah, not yet. Uh, during this year. Yeah. Um, so it's, 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 it will be sort of a platform uh, where you bring interpreters and, 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 and the deaf people needing it uh, uh, together. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, and I, uh, I interview a lot of uh, startups and a lot of people with apps and one of the questions we always have to ask is what's the business model? Ah, oh, 
Well, it is an interesting secret that I cannot reveal at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then we will then we will see about uh, 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 that later. Um, um, uh, you, you, you said, of course, language and culture are things, but um, uh, language is uh, not only a difference uh, speaking, but it's different for, uh, for, for, for the deaf as well, as I understood. It's not ev the same everywhere. The, the yeah, every country has its own sign language. Yeah. And for example, I don't know Dutch sign language at all. So. No. Uh, but there is a uh, so-called international signing that is a bit like Esperanto. It changes and varies depending on the persons who are using it. Yeah. yeah. Are you already testing uh, the service? Yes. What are, are the reactions? Wow, people are uh, amazed uh, about it. Uh, one lady told me uh, while she was testing, and she said that, you know, this is the greatest thing ever, but this looks like a toy. Uh, this can't be real. Yeah. And I told her that this is for real, <laughs> uh, that, you know, it, it's, for, it's coming and it's yeah. going to be our reality soon. Uh, but the history of the deaf commun community is very hard and heavy. We've gone through very difficult things. And we don't feel that we are fully equal with hearing people. So that's why we don't expect to get this kind of privilege yeah. to be able to communicate fully. Uh, many deaf people have lost uh, job opportunities because their employers have demanded them to answer phone calls. But it hasn't been possible so far. Yeah. But through Shabla it is possible to use phone as well, like yeah. hearing persons. What have been the biggest uh, hurdles to get uh, your uh, app uh, going? Well, like I told you, uh, the access to information and all the obstacles that we are facing, mm. that got me into going. I've been traveling a lot uh, in the world and sometimes, you know, when there is a meeting and I don't have interpreter or everything is in English, uh, there is the obstacle of getting information that got me yeah. angry, got, got me frustrated, got me... Yeah. yeah got me so motivated to do something uh, so i think the motivation comes from my life from my yeah life. but uh, next year you don't uh, have uh, you have to use her anymore <laughs> no <Yeah. laughs> and the state will be smiling yeah. Uh, and deaf people will be so relieved having interpreter yeah. when you need, whenever you need, without yeah. planning it in advance. Yeah, I, I can imagine. And uh, it, 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 it seems like a, a great service and a great uh, idea. So, um, well, uh, all the success with uh, the release of uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. We are uh, here um, for two days from uh, the border sessions in uh, The Hague. Two days of talking about innovation uh, in society. Uh, of course, technology is uh, most of the time uh, involved, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, we will be back later if you're watching live. And when you watch On Demand, you can view all the uh, interviews uh, on our YouTube channel. Thanks.